Hello, in this video we are going to cover frame buffers in Vulkan. So we're still continuing with drawing a triangle. We are now on to the drawing stage of it, just a few little parts to do and frame buffers is the first one. It's a pretty simple thing to do, it's not a lot of code to be fair. So first of all, if we scroll down, we're going to create a new vector and let's do the colon colon vector and this is going to be a vector of VK frame buffers or just frame buffer there's multiple frame buffers because it's a vector call it underscore swap chain frame buffers obviously it's going to be in line and linked to the other swap chain image views and now while we're here because the init vulcan is right there what we're going to do is call the create frame buffers method which again we will be implementing it will give us an error off the bat but it doesn't matter because we'll be implementing it and also while we're here let's actually do the cleanup for the vector that we created because it's a vector we're gonna have to loop through it so just put auto frame buffer in the swap chain frame buffers and we're gonna put vk destroy frame buffer it takes the Vulcan device as the first parameter then the frame buffer you want to destroy which is this one that is getting every single one from the swap chain frame buffer vector and we're going to put no pointer for callbacks but again feel free to put some sort of callbacks if you know what you're doing and you do want to put a callback so next is really all we got to do is implement the frame buffer method that we called so if we go to create graphics pipeline i'll actually search for a create graphics pipeline we'll put it after this so just before the create shader module i'm going to say void create frame buffers and now we're going to first start by resizing the container to hold all of the frame buffers in relation to the swap image views vector size. So to do that, pretty simple. You do underscore swap chain frame buffers dot resize. And you just put underscore swap chain image views dot size. And it's matching that size now. Simple stuff. Next, what we're going to do and this is basically the rest of it now is we're going to loop over all the image views in the swap chain and we're going to create for frame buffers from these so we're going to put four because there could be a lot we're going to put unsigned long long i equals zero i less than underscore swap chain image views dot size and we're going to say i plus plus That should have been an I, not an O. It wasn't even a zero. Okay, so first of all, we're just gonna get all of the attachments. I'm gonna say VK image view, call the attachments, and this is going to be an array. And this is going to equal underscore swap chain image views I and we're going to put a semicolon here next we're going to create the frame buffer create info object so vk frame buffer create info and this is going to be frame buffer info curly brace okay so next we're going to set the s type so frame buffer info dot s type equals vk underscore structure underscore type underscore frame buffer underscore create underscore info semicolon now we're going to specify the render path for compatibility we're going to say frame buffer dot if the frame buffer info dot render path equals underscore render pass and now we're going to set the attachment count and p attachment parameters to specify the VK image view objects that should basically be bound to the respective attachment, you know, description in the render path P attachment array. So we're gonna put frame buffer info dot attachment equals one frame buffer info 
the p attachment equals attachments dot width equals underscore swap chain extent dot width pre explanatory just matching the width and we're going to do the same for the height as well equal underscore swap chain extent dot height okay so now that we've got that there now what we're going to do is set the number of layers in the image arrays and um, because our swap chain images are single images the number of layers is going to be one as well so frame buffers i forgot to put a semicolon I'm wondering why it's invented frame buffer info dot layers equals one and just one last thing to do we're going to try and create the freight <coughs> let me have a sip of water i'm going to try and create the frame buffer now to do that we're going to wrap in an if statement so we are allowed to we'll we will be able to check if it fails we put vk create frame buffer first of all you specify the vulcan device then you specify the create info object that we just created it's going to be a reference of frame buffer info then some callbacks so i'm going to put no point tag and we're not interested in that then the frame buffer so we're going to say on ampersand underscore swap chain frame buffer and then i and what we're going to say if that doesn't equal to vk underscore success something's gone wrong and we're going to throw a runtime error so throw std colon colon runtime error and we're going to say failed to create frame buffers there we go that's all you got to do and now let's give it a run we do one error here by some little simple thing there we go had put uppercase p b uh, easy mistake to make okay so this is going through all the validation layer to do if we get one validation error to do with anisotropic filtering that's fine because we always get that that is a okay so we're all good to go we didn't get any errors in regards to the frame buffer so we can wrap up in the next video we will be continuing with the drawing stage and will actually be implementing the command buffers. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. There's a Vulcan channel there as well. There's over 4,900 members now. So it really grow. You'll be like a 5,000 by the time you actually, at least by the time you view this video. And yeah do feel free to post in those channels there's also a link in the description to the github page where you, where you can get all the source code and working projects for every single tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video